Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So continuing with my MoYu London ABC series, I am still on L and these are fun. These are the Looney Tunes plates. So there's a couple different ones. Oh, looks like I have didn't get this one clean from playing with it when I first got it. So most of them are based on one or two characters and <laughs> these are the babies. I forget what they're called, um, but they're the, um, the baby version of Bugs Bunny and Tweety. <laughs> I think they're cute. I forget what they're called right now. And then here's all the funky Bugs Bunny ones, kind of classic. What's up, Duck? Porky Pig and Daffy Duck. And Lola Bunny. I just realized it's here because I couldn't remember her name, but there it is, Lola Bunny. This wasn't really my vibe. I, I remember watching Bugs Bunny and I remember all the other characters, but I don't remember her too much. And then we have uh, Sylvester and Tweety Bird. Yeah, so Sylvester and Tweety. Oh, those are really cute. What was the dog's name? The Bulldog. I don't remember. I have to look that up. And then, oof. This one, let me let me clean that off. There's a really bad reflection. Or haze on it. I don't know. Sometimes that happens with the plates. They just get a hazy look even after cleaning with acetone. So if you just give a quick pass with um, alcohol, it kind of removes the hazy look. Uh, so that's the Martian. Is it Marvin the Martian? Bugs Bunny. Just some of the classic sayings, greetings, earthlings. You're despicable. What's up, Doc? <clears throat> okay. So I was thinking I was going to go for classic Bugs Bunny and get my little paper. It's all dry. It's dirty. I'm repurposing. I don't, I know aesthetically it might not be the most pleasing on video, but that's okay. I'm trying to waste as little as possible so that's why i'm doing that i have a tip stand here with no tips on it so let's get that i am using spares off of a old Thing. These are ones that would never be my size. And these are really nice tips, but unfortunately, they have a pretty big C curve. And well, I have product on my nails right now, but when I put these, I have really flat nails. So when I put these on my natural nails, they're. Um, there's a huge gap, so I don't really use them. All right, if, all right there we go. I think I'm just gonna do four because these are pretty small. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and file off these little nubbies. Okay. 
got a little rough with that one. to get off some of that dust this is not should be using a fluffy brush but i don't see oh here's one just to make sure there's no dust there we go all right so in case anybody is curious i like to use for my nail tips like on this one, you can see there's still a sticky on it. And I have two different kinds that I found on AliExpress, I believe. But I think you can get them on Amazon, Timu, whatever you preferred. So there's these oval-shaped ones. And when you peel them off, they're double-sided, just double-sided adhesive. I like them because... I don't like seeing the glob of clay through my tips. I don't know why it bothers me, but it does. So I, that's what I like to use. I couldn't find these kind of oval shaped ones again when I was looking. So I got these round ones. Again, just double sided adhesive dots and you just stick it on and then peel off the paper and then stick your tip on. And the ones that have been on Several of my nail tips have been there through, I, I don't know, if maybe for the past month of doing tips. And then you can just pop it off and it stays and they stay sticky for a really long time. Now, you wouldn't be able to do any heavy filing um, or I guess you could. You would just have to make sure you're holding the tip down while you're filing or they will pop off. But... Um, just for doing this, I mean, they're just, they're great for reusing, reusing, reusing. The clay um, pieces are the tacky, the little tacky clay things. I have some of those as well. There's all different kinds you can use, like these little clay pieces. And I guess those are like very reusable as well. Um, but again, I just don't like seeing them through. And for some reason, I don't get good adhesion. Every time I start doing something, they pop off. I know you got to warm them up and stretch them, but I can't get it to work for me. So, all right, here's my Bugs Bunny nails. And I am going to paint them in white, I think, because I really want the images to pop off. So I think I'm going to do a white background. Let me grab, I'm going to do it in gel polish as well, just so that I have um, that base to where if I make a mistake, I can just wipe it off. I'm going to use my Melody Susie Fleur Wee nail polish. This is P14. way too much polish on that little tiny nail. I'm trying to see if I can get some of it off.
I got one coat of that white on. The level is so beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the lamp. I don't think I'm going to do a second coat. There's a little ant right there. Hi, little ant. Let's go take a trip somewhere else. I was just outside um, checking on the chickens, telling them good morning, and we cap their food every night to prevent critters from getting in it. So in the morning I have to go open it so I was just doing that and every now and then I bring like a critter in with me usually an ant all right so let's see what are we gonna do with Bugs Bunny I kind of wanted to do some like nice bright funky colors so let's see I'm gonna get some of my neon polishes from clear jelly stamper are just so cool they're really pretty don't don't worry about the the white in them they just need to be mixed up oh boy okay there we go i think i'm just gonna leave the one coat i probably could do a second one just to kind of help even some of that out but i'm not i'm gonna leave it so I am going to just go right in. I'm going to pick up these little stars and those are going to go straight on the um, pinky. That's exactly what I wanted. Sorry about the arm in the way. Clean as I go. Let's see what else can we do. So I really like the stars on that one. Nice and bright. <clears throat> Excuse me, jeez. do some purple polka dots because polka dots make everything better don't y'all think I do we're gonna put the dots on this one hopefully it's big enough just 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 big enough and I, it did cover, but I'm just going to add where there was a little bit of space. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I could do a whole, a whole hand of just purple polka dots. 
Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a green splat. And I'm not going based off of anything. I'm just randomly picking up what I think is cute and that's it. A green splat. Oh, and I am going to do a Bugs Bunny image. I do want some of these funky little, um, what is that, like 90s geometric little designs. You have to have a What's Up Doc somewhere. Can't have Bugs Bunny without it, can you? The yellow might not show up too well, so let's do a little bit bigger. I'm just trying to figure out where I want this one. Let's put the tape on it. Alright. 
Might have went overboard just because it's so fun to do like the random like just graffiti collage type look. It's really easy to just keep going and going and going and going. <clears throat> okay. Now we do have to do a bug's bunny. Okay. I'm going to do a pink um what do they call those things? I can't think of like on the trails. Um there's a word for them, I just can't think of it. I'm gonna, when I put the Bugs Bunny over, it'll be in reverse stamping, but I still want it to get. Like that. I kind of want to do one of these. These are adorable. Let's see what it looks like. It's almost like selfies, right? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. It might not work on that, but... Um, paint them in. I don't want to go too dark, so I'm going to use. Let's move some stuff out the way. That's bam white. I don't want that. I'm going to use this front page so that it's not too white. I need a pen. Oops. Doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> It's pretty easy because I don't have to do a lot of um, detail colors because it's like it doesn't show the middle of the ear so I don't have to worry about doing the pink. But I'm smudge it. Maybe a little. All right. And then his cheeks basically stay white. And then his eyes, they like, are they closed? It looks like they're closed. So I'm gonna do those in white, I guess. Because you don't want to see the... And then, of course, 
four, six, two. And his cheeks. It's not dry, but I want to see how that's going to look. Yeah, I'm going to like that. I might do like two little black dots for his eyes because even looking at this stamp, I don't see the eyes. It's almost like his eyes are closed in the image. So while we're waiting for the image to dry, I'm going to go ahead and top coat the other ones with a shiny top coat because I took a chance and oh my goodness I took a chance and did a matte top coat on the previous video and um, I didn't point it out but it did smudge a little bit it streaks um gel a shiny gel top coat won't streak your stamping but the other ones will and i'm out of many allergies Smudge free top coat. Well, technically, I'm not out. I have refill bottles, but I ruined my bottle. So I um, am waiting for a new bottle to come in. And then when I'm done with that, then I can refill it. Hopefully, my refills will still be good because they're already kind of old. I've never used them. I thought I would run out faster. I just stuck my hand right on that stamp. Okay, and it didn't mess it up. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put these three in the lamp. And while that's dry, um, going, I am going to apply some sticky base to this nail. There's the other nail, stop coated. This one should be sticky enough, I hope, and hopefully this is dry enough. I'm just going to put this little stamp right there. I think it's cute like that. Move these over. <clears throat> Go ahead and put a gel top coat on this one. Oh, I think it's cute like that. It's like a little selfie. All right, guys, what do you think? I was going to matte top coat these, but I think they look pretty good shiny too. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to leave them shiny. What do you think?
let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.